What's going on, guys? Got a question for you. Um, actually, you can probably see I'm moving my son in. Um, we're out here waiting for um, him to get his keys so we can can actually move him into his dorm. But while we were waiting in the auditorium, I was uh, reading a study, um, a vast new vast study based on poverty. Um, and I was also looking on, on, online as far as researching. And it shows, this is probably curious, the, t uh, the top searches, the top five states that actually have searches based on entrepreneurship. DC is number one. Uh, New York was number two. Massachusetts was number three. Rhode Island was number four. And number five was Virginia. I'm kind of curious on um, why that is, especially in our region, why um, entrepreneurship is searched that um, that much in those regions. I, and I wanted to see what your thoughts were on that. But two, the vast study, it showed that the key, the conclusion was that the key to reducing poverty was to have more interactions between the rich and the poor. And it, and it showed, and I, I was kind of, I probably wasn't surprised, but it showed how birds of a feather flock together that the top one percent um as far as having friends most of their friends um actually surprisingly enough don't come from the one percent <laughs> most of their friends come from the top uh, i think it was the 10 or 20 percent that they're most of their friends from but as you go down the scale as you see the top 50 percent th that stops right there the interaction with the top 1%. So if you are below the top 50%, you have no friends at all in the top 1%. As a matter of fact, most of your friends come from um, below average incomes. So what, what, is, what is the study saying? It's, it's saying that based on the interactions and it saw that people who are poor in poor communities, when they had the opportunities to interact with people in richer and in, in, let's say wealthier communities, the poverty rate decreased in that in the in those areas. So it, it made me kind of look at myself and how I want to see myself, um, you know, mentally, because I, I, I'm probably like most people. And I don't know if you're like this, where I tend to um, interact with people who who kind of agree with me. So I found myself today literally reaching out getting on the phone and trying to connect with someone who doesn't agree with me at all and, and I just wanted to um, not try to change their point of view or my point of view or um, any any type anything like that because I know I'm, I'm going to be who I am but I just wanted to have myself grow make myself grow and to see different points of views and, and, and to stretch myself to, to expand myself. So I just wanted to see how you guys felt about that. Um, is that something that you would do? Is that something that you um, find yourself doing? How, and how do you deal with that? Are you surprised uh, about the vast study report and about entrepreneurship? If you did have a question, um, what would be your question as far as entrepreneurship? Um, obviously in the DC area, New York area, it's, it's, people are really looking. Why do you think that is? So just to kind of curious on, on your thoughts. So, Put in the comments below. Let's have a conversation. Holla at you. Peace.